Hi, salam welcome to Kefir. So let's talk about Logitech portable keyboards. Now here are three Bluetooth keyboards from Logitech. So let's us kick this off with the white K380. Now this is a rather light and small keyboard measured by 12 by 20, 28 if I'm mistaken. Now I specifically requested for a white color because it looks much cleaner in person, but you can choose from five different colorways. There's black, there's blue, white, light pink, and red, but more like blood heavy red. It's using two AAA batteries and you can switch from one device to another up to a total of three devices with just a click away. The keys are in circular shapes with a slight concave surface for extra typing comfort. The layout is multi OS friendly and what I meant by that is you can actually use it for either Windows, Android, or the iPad OS without having to confuse yourself which function key is which, although one function key which is the F5 doesn't work on the iPad. Um, if you're using Windows or Mac OS you want, and you want to dive deep into customization like if that's your jam, there's a software that allows you to customize shortcuts and hotkeys as well and monitoring battery life and more. But since I've been using this for my iPad, so I haven't got time to actually try it out. So maybe, maybe soon. For people who are into low profile and angled ergonomic keyboards, you would definitely like this one. And, but in terms of accuracy though, the travel distance bit is quite short, so I tend to have a little bit of typos, but not as much as the key go to. We'll talk about that later. The clicky clacks of the keys are a um, little less satisfying and less audible than the K480. Now, my personal favorite and also my own portable keyboard from Logitech, the K480. I have actually did a bite-sized review on this keyboard on my Instagram, so make sure you check the out, link in the bio. The body is actually much thicker and flat compared to the 380, and it is freaking hefty too due to its big size overall. And also, the very main reason why I bought this keyboard is because of the built-in cradle that can fit my iPad Pro Unfortunately, it's not able to secure my iPad, so it keeps on falling off after like 15, 20 minutes. So I have to put something like a ruler or something flat to properly secure it in place. I'm not sure though how well it works if you have your case, if you have your iPad with a case. Now, same like its smaller brother, it's using two AAA batteries to power up and you can connect up to three devices one at a time. But in this device, on this keyboard, it's using a dial mechanism which is located on the top left for quick switch and it works perfectly. Unlike the K380 though, for this you'll have to go through some extra steps for first time pairing with your device. So if you want to pair with Windows, Android or Chrome based device, you'll have to long press the PC button here or if you want to pair with an Apple device, you'll have to press this I button right here. The keys are not as rounded as the K380 and the typing experience on this keyboard is so good and satisfying at the same time, probably because of the clackety clacks of the keys. Yes, I'm calling it that from now on. It is loud, in fact, the loudest among all three keyboards that I have right here. So considering that and it's heavyweight physique, not sure if it's rated to be the most suitable portable keyboard to use at your favorite hipster coffee shop, if that's your thing. But buying this for your home setup, that would be a different story. Now, spoiler alert for the keys go to. I had high expectation for this keyboard and let me tell you why. First of all, it looks cool. It's very slim, colors popping, it's lightweight, you open the box, there's a set of cute stickers. And the selling point for me that time was it has its own cradle. But look, it basically it cannot withstand the weight of my iPad Pro even though I have the keyboard hooked in right here. Let me try this out. I'm gonna go in one, two, three. Yep. So my bad for not knowing that it is not built for a heavy tablet. That's my mistake, should have done better. 
But if you're looking to buy this keyboard for your iPad, get a separate iPad stand like you green or something. All right, now back to the keyboard itself. This is suitable for Apple devices only, like your iPhone or even your Apple TV. And the reason I said that is, if it's not obvious enough, you can actually tell by the layout of the keyboard itself, it's very leaning towards the Apple layout only. And just like the other keyboards I've talked about, the K40 and the K380, this one has a bunch of hotkeys with it, like dedicated home button, the search button, and the media control buttons. But one thing's missing from other keyboards is the brightness control. Now, this one has its own dedicated brightness control hotkeys, so it's, it's very convenient, actually. Unfortunately, there's no multi-devices support for this keyboard, and of course, there's no AAA batteries as well. It has its own integrated battery baked in that is chargeable using the micro USB slot right here. I don't know if you can see that. Now, due to its form factor, it sacrifices a lot on the typing experience and the comfort to keep everything as thin and light as possible. Because let's be honest, this is not for the fast WPM typers out there. People who want this keyboard shouldn't care about how fast they can type because if they do, then you might want to opt for the cheaper options right here. Because with this, you will have a freaking lot of typos if you're a fast typer out there. Now, I just wish Logitech had engineered the cradle to be less weight sensitive and rigid. Other than that, it's this is my last preferred keyboard. I would prefer the K480 or the K380 as my second choice. But yeah, that's it. Still love the clackety clacks of the K480. Yes, I'm gonna call it K clackety clacks from now on. Screw other terms. All right, thanks for watching this video. Hit the like button if you enjoy the content of this video and subscribe if you enjoy the content of my channel. As usual, see you guys in the next one.